On this episode of Bad Nerd, you will see a review of Half Pops, partially popped popcorn snacks, and also find out how you too can win some Half Pops for your own. When all my slots are empty, you better fill me up. I smile for joy when I see that big old truck. There's a little Hey everybody, welcome to BevNerd. This is episode, uh, I don't even keep up with them anymore. Recording date is December 2nd, 2011. This sure is Jason Coleman, and I want to welcome you at home, or on the go, to another episode of the show about soft drinks and snack foods, and reviews, and stuff that you like to eat or drink, and talk about with your friend. If you haven't already, check us out. That's BevNerd.com. If you have a browser, you point it in that direction. Um, if you have, like an iPod or put the shows on to take with, you want to check it out. Uh, it's iTunes, we're on there as BevNerd and some other words. Um, YouTube, that's youtube.com slash BevNerd. Subscribe there and you'll definitely get the episodes as soon as they're uploaded. Same thing with on iTunes. Um, if you've got a Roku box that you plug to your TV and you watch stuff on there, guess what? Use the Blip TV app and you can watch BevNerd on the comfort of your own couch with a big screen TV or small screen. I don't know what kind of TV you have. If you are on Twitter, that's uh, twitter.com slash BevNerd or at BevNerd. Um, you'll see my tweets. I was at Cracker Barrel last night. I had a fantastic roast chicken and dressing meal. And they had two for $2 on their sodas in a glass bottle. Um, I picked up a standard of mine that I like a lot. Double Cola. And the other one, which I haven't had before, it was Sioux City Sarsaparilla. So why, why does Sarsaparilla have an R in it? Whenever I look at it, it's like Sarsaparilla, and that's not even a thing. Also, if you're on the Facebook or Book Face, you want to check us out there, too. That's Facebook.com slash BevNerd. You like these things, it puts you in the community where you can chat with like-minded eating and drinking enthusiasts. You will get all the contests sent directly to you. You can check them out, they're archived there. You'll be in the know and to win great things like maybe great Half Pops. Hey, you see what I did there? Half Pops is a privately held natural snack food company dedicated to reinventing the popcorn category. Located adjacent to some of the region's finest wineries, craft breweries, distilleries and restaurants in Woodenville, Washington, its production method is so unique that the company was granted a patent on the manufacturing process. Half Pops are air popped in a nut free facility and currently come in both butter and sea salt and aged white cheddar flavors. Also, Half Pops donates 1% of its revenue to charitable organizations that help kids with learning disabilities. Learn more at halfpops.com. I've got the two flavors of Half Pops. Um, this one on my right hand is natural aged ch white cheddar, and this one is natural butter and pure ocean sea salt. So, I'm gonna open these up. Like I said, these are partially popped popcorn snacks. So let's let's. So what is that exactly? So let's say you microwave your popcorn, and you have your 100% pop popcorn, which is like, you know, most of it. And then you have like the full kernels that just didn't. They they were duds. Apparently, nothing happened. But then you have those in between. They're not fully popped, and they're definitely not kernels. They're what we like to call in the biz uh, half pops. Here they are. I hope you can see them. They are partially pop popcorn snacks. Now, the idea of these is whenever you're going through your, your bowl or your microwave bag and you get these, they're like crunchy but kind of fluffy at the same time or they have a lot of flavor in them, like they're cool. But we'll try them. Here's what they look like. Mmm. Now, spoiler alert, I really like these. What I like about them, especially is, you know, you would think you would be breaking your teeth on these. They're, they don't break your teeth. Oops, dropped, missed my mouth. That's what she said. Like, you bite into them, they, they have, like, the crunch. They have lots of flavor. This one's, like, bursting with, like, butter and sea salt. But it's not like movie theater butter, where it's kind of, like, like, too much butter and kind of gross, and you don't really like yourself after eating it. Um, it's just got like the right amount of salt, the right amount of butter, and you know, 
I like these a lot, and my, my, my stepfather-in-law, he freaking, he loves these. Uh, these were a huge hit at Thanksgiving with uh, my wife's family. They passed the, um, the other one around, and um, the, the family couldn't get enough of them. They really liked them. I really like these. These are, you can just munch on these, and these are great. The uh, natural butter and pure ocean sea salt. It's just, that's a good idea. It's like you clamor for these pieces in your microwave bowl or so, and there's only like four in there. We have a whole freaking bag of them. Um, this one right here, right cheer, is natural aged white cheddar. Now this is the flavored kind. Uh, there are two flavors. <laughs> this bag is like kicking my butt. Ugh. Um, these don't really have any like cosmetic differences. It might be like maybe like have an orange hue because of the cheddar. Well, it's white cheddar, so I guess I'm just dumb. But yeah, here it is. You definitely get the white cheddar. It reminds me of those like smart food popcorn. It smells like that. Definitely less salty of a flavor, but that white cheddar, it's subtle. It doesn't really, you can taste the, the cheddar on here, but it doesn't take away the, from the fact that you get a lot of flavor from the popcorn itself because it's like got the kernel still, it's not popped all the way. So instead of like eating a fully popped popcorn, it's like all the flavor of regular popcorn is like condensed into like an easier to eat like receptacle. That's not even a thing, but it's like easy to eat. Hmm. But you will get crumbs on your fingers, so watch out if you're playing the Xbox, which I'm not because I'm still on bootless Fawn 7, so I'm playing Fallout now instead of Modern Warfare 3. These taste good too. That's a good flavor as well. Now, me personally, I really like just the, the more plain flavor of just the natural butter and sea salt. That's not taking anything away from this flavor because I think it's very good too. Now, these come in like, these look like small packages. They're two ounces each. But look how many of these kernels come in here. You could, you could, you would think you would be able to finish this in like a few minutes or so. That's a lot of kernels. This is like, this has to be at least the same or more as a whole like microwave package, except not. I think this is probably more because they're smaller, which means there's more kernels. Now you can eat these. I've, I've been eating on a pack for like almost a week. Um, as long as you keep it sealed, like with like a tie or a, a chip clip. They stay pretty fresh the whole time and still has the crunch. And they taste good the whole time too. I highly recommend these snacks. These are delicious. If I haven't st stressed out enough. And you can just pop a few in. And what's weird, instead of like grabbing like a candy bar or cookies or whatever as a snack, if you just have maybe like a handful of this, it's weird like they're, they're kind of filling too. Like they have some like weight. They're kind of weighty. And like they really could, you know, a handful could tide you over in between breakfast and lunch, lunch and dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, it's two servings, so you know, just eating just a few of these at a time, just munch on them. Really, you get more bang for your buck as far as your servings. Um, 130 calories per serving, uh, nine grams of fat. Blah blah blah. It's got some fiber in there, so you're also getting your fiber. Um, here's what it says: less fluff, more flavor. That's definitely true. All natural ingredients. Gluten-free, nut-free, zero grams trans fat, none of these things right here. No artificial flavors, no hydrogenated oils, no corn syrups, no negativity. A brand new snack experience. Dig in and discover popcorn's uncomplicated core. Partially popped and fully delicious, save the crunchy heart of air pop kernels. And they have a long shelf life on them too. Here's the ingredients. Popcorn, canola oil, butter, which is cream, milk, salt, dry buttermilk, and sea salt. For this one and then this one's popcorn canola oil, oil cheddar cheese um, and sea salt there's no preservatives in here so but they this lasts till d October 2012 but they last a long time so you don't have to be a rush in a rush to eat all of them especially if you win a case and the sound of that music means it's contest time on Bevner that means you too can win some half pops of your own I don't know the exact amount you'll win but I'm sure I'll post it on Facebook and Twitter. And this is how this is how you're gonna do the contest this week. Here's how to win your very own stash of half pops. And I believe I have two to give away, so there's two winners. Whether you watch this on Facebook, you get the link from Twitter, uh, YouTube, iTunes, 
what have you. Wherever you can leave a comment, reply with, who would play you if you made a movie about you and your life story? And I'm going to choose a couple random people, and they're going to win some half pops that they might not want to share. But there's just so many you have to, and tis the season of half pops. So, quick rundown. Wherever you can see a comments box, I will get them, uh, I hope, for the most part. And if you don't want to comment on these social networks, if you just want to email your answer in, email me at bevner at email.com. That's all you got to do if you don't use these things, if you want to stay quiet. Because who knows, you might secretly want, I don't know, uh, the guy that plays P.P. Harmon to be your guy in the movie. Or a woman, the character, the lady from Third Rock from the Sun to play you. What have you, I wouldn't tell anybody either. That's how all you got to do to win half pop. Two thumbs up on this one, definitely. Um, even even um, my little cousin or so, I think that's what he is. He was even dipping this in chocolate fondue. This would even this even goes good with chocolate because it's got the sweet and the salty. And such. And I think also someone uses it. Um, a pastry chef uses it in their desserts for a crunchy crunch and salty salt. Anyways, I've rambled enough. Um, if you have anything, have a good weekend, everybody. More Haritos Name That Luchador contest coming soon also. So goodbye.